me again. I'm Jacob, the lifestyle coordinator here at Overture Crabtree. Today we are going to do a canvas pour. Um, I do this every now and then when I'm at home just for fun. Um, I learned maybe two years ago now and just wanted to share it with you guys and kind of see what you thought. And um, Our residents are going to be doing this next Tuesday for our crafting event. So we're also going to be showing them how to do that today. All right, yeah. it's 401. We're going to get started. Like I said, don't worry so much about seeing right now. I'll make sure that you see the parts that you need to. Um, can everybody hear me? Yes. Is it too loud? Am I screaming at you? No. no all right, good. We're going to keep that volume. You guys tell me to be quiet if I'm screaming at you. Thank you all for joining me. So what this is, is it's called a canvas pour. It's essentially just a painting technique, but it's kind of one of the easier techniques for um, beginners and people who don't really paint. So that's one reason I am doing it, because I don't really paint, but I can paint a little bit doing this. Um, most of it is just fun. I learned how to do this in a time where I needed something to take my mind off other things. And so painting was a very relaxing, kind of nice thing to do. The idea for this is I'm going to show you how to do it now. And Tuesday, when we do the crafting, we're all going to do it ourselves. So first, we'll go over the materials that you're going to need. I have two canvases here, but you need a canvas. It doesn't really matter the size. Um, the colors of paint I am going to be using, they're all acrylic paint. So for this particular thing, you do want to use um, acrylic. But you're gonna, I've got uh, uh, Viridian here a burnt sienna, and then a lemon kind of yellow color. Um, I have a medium, so we're gonna try to, this is gonna be a gel medium. It's not regular paint, but it's a slow dry gel medium. It looks just like the paint, but you're just gonna wanna make sure that you do get that medium to, it is gonna keep the pigments together when you add the water. And will and we'll keep the color bold and glossy and everything like it is here. Even if, even though you're adding the water to make it more fluid, this keeps those pigments together. You need something to stir. I am just using one of the old brushes that we use to stir everything up. And then cups. I have three paints, so I've got four cups. You'll see why I've got four cups later. Each one, you're gonna make the mixture of the color paint. This one's gonna be where I mix all the paints once I mix them up, but I'll show you what I mean for that. Kind of a nice little hack. Obviously, you want something to catch all the paint because it's gonna get messy. Um, but I, I have other cups that I'm putting as the base for my canvas. So I have something to put it on. That's gonna be kind of one of the nice things. You don't wanna put it directly on the, on the thing here because it, 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 it's going to take about two and a half days for this to, to dry. So that's going to be some of, the, some of the reason you want to raise it off of the platform that you have. These cups are going to be a lot easier to get off from the bottom than anything else will. So that is the reason for that. What I'm going to do real quick, just get everything up that's already opened. So that's going to be nice and easy. I was actually supposed to use these colors to make one of these for a friend. And I haven't done it yet, so this is kind of two birds with one stone kind of thing. I can make this for her and show you guys how to do it. I heard. Can we go start? Do what? It's a girl? Uh, yes, just a friend, though. Just a friend. Oh, darn. Um, we're going to start with the Viridian, but the mixture you're going to want, um, kind of four to one as far as four parts paint to one part of the gel just so you kind of have a, um, you want a quarter of the gel for however much paint uh, you're going to use, just to give you kind of a starting point for, um, oh, you do need some water as well. So we don't have it hooked up here, so I've got bottles of water. You don't need that much. But for me, I'm putting in, yeah, I mean, you'll do, do a little bit more just to make sure I don't have to go back. So, this is all the paint I need in there right now. Not that much, but, but enough. Make sure, yep, let me get this off. This is the most strenuous part of it. The actual pour and doing what you have to do may only take 
three minutes to five minutes if you're going to do it like if you're going to enhance it as you do it but um this is going to be the biggest part so i'm trying to let's show you so if you can kind of see the white in there compared that's really all the comparison that you're going to need and then what you do you want to mix it up first so when you mix it up first, it doesn't really do anything. It's just green. It is just green. The key to this though, and what you wanna make sure that you're doing is when you add the water, nice, oh, with your water bottles here. Oh, let's go the other way. Boom, perfect. Um, with this, you wanna add a little bit of water at a time. And as, as you mix it, if it needs to be more fluid, you're looking for kind of a liquidy um, pancake batter kind of mixture. You want your, you want your pancakes a, a, a little liquidy when you're done mixing everything. You're gonna wanna make sure, you can't really see, but um, like you're gonna start off with lumps in there and you're just working those out. You see it, it doesn't, it starts to drip, but you're gonna keep moving, keep adding some water here and there and get it to drip a little bit more as it comes off that, that paintbrush or whatever you have to mix it with. As you see, it's starting to, to flow. It's, it's moving a little bit. I don't wanna pour it on, on my computer, but trust me, it's moving around a little bit. So you can kinda see it's, it's dripping a little bit. We're gonna add some more water to get it a little more fluid there. And that's why the medium is so important. Um, it, you can also, as you're going, if it gets too liquidy, add some more paint, add some more medium. Um, it, everything is gonna kind of be not so much a guesstimation, but you're gonna be able to like give and take on a lot of that stuff. All right, that's almost ready. All right. So as you see, we're, we don't have that much in there. There's not gonna be a lot of paint that you're gonna need. Because it's fluid now, it's gonna be able to, to cover most of the canvas the way you, you need it to. All right, so we're gonna set that one out of the way. Also, clean this little brush off here. All right, on to the orange or burnt sienna, excuse me. So we're gonna do the same thing here. <clears throat> same amount. And as you see, it's not quite as accurate, like it doesn't need to be spot on. You just, you just want to make sure that you have that general 25% per, um, per paint that you have covered, you know, 25% of the gel. You know what I'm trying to say. All right, so we'll get that mixed in real good. Now comes the water. Add a little bit more than last time. So you see, it, it starts to get liquid pretty good. I know it's gonna be tough, but once I put it on this white canvas, you'll see all the good stuff. And I've got a variety of, of, of colors, so you can kind of think about for Tuesday, which colors you're gonna to wanna to do. I've got plenty of the medium, I've got all the stuff that you need, but um, we may look at, like I'll show you guys different techniques. Um, some people will use, you can like put white over the whole canvas, and then pour here and there. Some people will use like a strainer, pour the paint through the strainer and spin the strainer. And some people will use like strings and dip it in here, put it here and then swirl it. There's all kinds of different things you can do to make those patterns that you're looking for. This one, like I said, I'm gonna do one of the basic ones, but then Tuesday I'll kind of show everybody. Well, you can also do it this way. You can also try it this way. Some people will, get a giant canvas that's my next thing i'm looking to do get a giant like 
something outrageous, six foot by 10 foot canvas or something that can go some crazy, put it on the floor and they actually will take a paint bucket and drill holes in it, make the mixture like this in the paint bucket and send it across in different ways. And it's, it's amazing to watch, but it, it's def it definitely works and it's cool. So that's, you know, that's what we're going for, the cool stuff. So a little bit more water for this one. I'm actually going to go through this. Maybe we should do this in the, um, in the uh, garage up on fourth floor or something, fifth floor. We may be able to do that. Um, the problem there may be tables and that kind of thing. We'll just put a tablecloth, plastic tablecloth on the ground and get on our knees. Oh, All righty, no. not everybody's going to do that. This so. girl won't be getting on her knees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this one looks pretty good. That means we got one more to do. So let's fix that. It looks good. All right, yellow time. Uh, so Jacob, have... did you did you get some of your ideas off of like YouTube? Could I... Um, this one no, but some of the other ones that we've done before, yes. Uh huh. The, but these you can look up these videos all over YouTube. A right. lot of people are doing this, but um, I think the very first time. Um, long story short, um. I was going to a, to, to a therapist for a little while and she actually was the one who showed me this, huh. but she showed it to me. I was like, Hey, just look this up on YouTube. This may be something to do what you needed to do. I had all mm -hmm. kinds of brain work and brain injury things done. So that <laughs> some of the reason I went through a lot of that stuff, all that football and kickboxing and just being a boy. Right. <laughs> well, this is like, um, creative and stress relieving. Yes, that was what well, the reason I was going there was there was a, a depression time and so that was the stress relief and the relaxation was what was what was needed. And so this was one of the things that she mentioned to do that relaxation and stress relief. So the the same going to the gym beating on a, a, a punching bag wasn't working anymore. It doesn't work for me to punch on gym anymore either. <laughs> I don't want him to hurt me. No, <laughs> he hits back. Uh, yeah, that's what I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to find when you're doing this on Tuesday, if, if you mix it really well and you think, oh, um, I'm done, if you see bubbles in the paint, you're, you're going to want to do it a little bit more, maybe add just a splash more water and do it again, um, that'll relieve some of those air pockets when you start mixing up that water again. And it'll kind of even everything out for you. All right. A little bit more water. And I didn't really judge if I made enough paint for this first one. I can definitely cover one canvas. I've got another canvas over here just to show you how different each one of these are. You're never going to make one of these pores that are exactly like the other. It's always going to be different. It's always going to react different with each other. And so that's one of the cool things about this is that you can make a totally different thing each time you make it. So how much do you pay for one of those tubes of paint, Jacob? Well, these were actually on sale for $2.99. Oh, that's only good. one this size is mm -hmm. like four bucks, something like that. The canvas, um, and the Michaels always has sales, so like I got 20% off of everything I did just, just from an online coupon. Uh huh. But um, they're relatively cheap, but also you know they can be on the expensive side too, so it just depends on which one you're looking at and how much you're looking to get. Let me wipe this guy off. Jacob, we, will we have to buy our own things, bring it to you, or you? No, I've got everything already. I went and shopped today. 
So we don't have to bring anything. Just yourself. All right. What size is the canvas? Yeah, I've got the canvas too. But I mean, is it that size in front of you? Um, yes, it's just not as thick. Okay. It's one of the flat canvases. It'll still work. It just makes it easier on everybody else who's paying for them, just to be completely honest. Oh, no, that's right. It's... But yeah, so I've got, the, I've got the canvas. I've got the paint. I've got the mediums. I've got everything you're going to need. I'm redoing some of this green just to add a little bit more paint to it, thicken it up just slightly. And then we're going to start pouring this thing. So I want everybody to remember for the first one, in case I do have enough for the second one, I'm going to pour it green, yellow, and orange. So the second one, I'm going to go orange, yellow, and green. And that way you can kind of see what we got going on. All right, so literally I'm taking that fourth cup we were talking about, and I'm going to pour the paints in there. So there's my green. There's my yellow. And here's my orange. As you see, you just see green. It's only green in there right now. What I'm going to do, <laughs> the canvas is on there, flip it over. You can also oh, pour should... this in a different way. I'm going to can you move the water bottle out of the way? Yes, we can move all of this out of the way actually now. So you got to look at my backside for a second. I'm watching Jacob with this thing. Hey, what we're going to mm -hmm. do next week. All right, so. Why is my battery not charging? I'm going to show you. Can y'all see this canvas? Yep. yep. All yeah. right, so just I'm just going to pull it up, and then I'll do the moving. I just want you to see what it looks like pulled up. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And now I'll show you the rest of it when I'm done. All okay. you do after this is, it on now? is start moving it. Mm -hmm. well, it. I don't know, it's showing red there. Hold on a minute. And you're taking up the screen. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now it's white. One second to be done with it. Went from seven to six. Okay. You're charging. How do you know that? Because you said it went from seven to six. Seven is, is higher than six. How can Jacob take over the screen? We're not seeing it because I'm not doing anything. Name is, is um is it every time somebody talks? It should be changing. Right, we can't talk. Yeah, it's going lower. All right. I might okay. lose you, and I'll just have to look at it later. Well, it's okay. So what I'm going to do and what to show you just how much you can do. I didn't put enough on the first time trying to save some for the second one. So we're doing it all over again. And that's the best thing about this is you can literally do that same thing. <laughs> now I'm just pouring it. So it's a whole different process. Version, it... I think I lost them. Yeah, I'm putting you in closet. Two seconds and we're going to be done. Can we kind of see what it looks like? Mm -hmm. And that is, I mean, that's pretty much what you're going to do. What I like to do just because I do different stuff and I'm crazy. Afterwards, I'm going to gather all the rest of it and just flick it. Add a little bit of, of something to it. Jacob, I have to admit, I was skeptical, but that sure is neat. I'm glad I can change your mind. I like, that's the whole point of it. So what I'm going to do now, because we do have enough, I'm going to go the opposite. Orange, all the rest of it in there. Dump it all the good stuff, all the good stuff in there. Yellow, tons of good stuff. and green. I 
should have brought another glove is what I should have done, but. <laughs> or a towel. <laughs> it's okay, I'm, 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 I'm going home after this. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick this back up. Turn it back over. Boom. And so what we're gonna do, you just lift it up. Already throwing my dots on there that time. And then you're just moving. And then we're gonna bring it back down. It's actually good that I went ahead and did it this way because I can show you some um, some stuff that you can look out for and stuff that you can watch when, when you do it. Um, if you don't um, mix it well enough, you're gonna see some bumps on this one, but you can, those slide right off. But if you don't mix it enough, you're gonna see some of those bumps. But if you see how, how this one's much darker doing it the other way, I'm going to I'll make the camera go so you can actually see it. But I do want to just try to get a little bit more out of here. Fill up those little bits. And then drip all this good stuff over here. So then we're going to gather up. Actually, it's going to be perfect now. Let's throw this stuff on there. <laughs> doing doing that stuff, why I decided to always do it, 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 it'll add depth to it. It'll make it look almost 3D sometimes. Can you show us? I just us? like the effect that it makes. Yeah. Let me wash this real quick and I'll move the stuff so you can actually see what's going on. And I didn't even make a mess. What do you, what, man? That's almost, I wanted to make a little mess, you know? It means I was doing something. <laughs> All right. So the one that we actually finished is this one. So see all the how the colors came together. I know the lights kind of up there, but this one I need to get more paint for. You see the edges didn't quite go through, but what we're Can showing you drag is drag it. Can well, you yeah, I want to pick it back up and everything. It? But um, see how the colors are so much different, even though we use the same paint. Mm -hmm. So that is that's kind of the gist of what we're gonna do, but. You can, what some people do is instead of pouring it all into one cup, they'll pour like a circle here, a circle here, you know, dab it this way, because that'll get certain colors in certain locations. If you want like blue streaks, you put all the blue up top and then you turn it upside down, you know, so it all goes down instead of moving everywhere. If you want to do designs like that, that's when you take the white paint liquefy it like we did yep and my computer just might think just cover went off. the whole thing and then you'll be able to kind of cover the whole thing in white and then you can dab here and there whereas these concentrate much more on um on getting the all the colors mixed and then the how they describe it is the the most powerful color or the one that you've mixed the best with the medium will come out to the top more. And so that's kind of what you're looking for. You want to find out what base coat you wanted, and that was green for me. And then you mix in the yellows and the oranges the way that they want you to. Let's actually see if this still is going to move with the new paint I put on. Some of the new paint moves. You'll find that you move certain things, and you're like, I want to move that design over this way, and I want that design to cover more of this. And then it's a fine line between doing that and um, it being too much. Like, like you don't ever want to mix too much or turn the paint too much because then you've almost taken all the paint of the design off. And so it's a fine line, but like, in, like instead of moving mine more, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix more paint and do it that way. That's the better idea because like I've got this really nice yellow on this side. If I keep turning it, the yellow could be this big and by the time I'm done turning it, it's shrunk. And so the effect is less. So you, so you do wanna think about that. Like if you have a shape or color that you really like, you may want to add the paint back on those certain sides that you want to change. I've had a painting that I let dry, didn't like how it turned out, and kept the parts that I liked, but kind of moved everything else. You know, move, put more paint here and less paint there to kind of fix those problems. But um, we'll kind of be able to play around with that. That crafting may be a little bit longer, just because it's we're going to be doing the mixing and doing all of those things at once. But um, it'll be fun. So definitely, you know, come, like I said, I've got everything that you need. You don't have to do anything or bring anything or make sure I need to paint anywhere else that they don't want. I don't want to lose my job for getting paint everywhere, you know. But um, definitely let me know if you have any questions. That's pretty much it. I'm going to do the cleaning up part. But um, hopefully you guys are going to come Tuesday to be able to do this too. And we'll have a good time with it. Cool. Thank you.